Hello everyone, San here. Today we're gonna go over Glory of the Hero. This achievement goes over all the Wrath of the Lich King heroic dungeon achievements and rewards the red protodrake you can see on the screen right now. The first dungeon we're gonna go over is Utgard Keep and the first achievement in there is On the Rocks. Defeat Prince Kelsov in Utgard Keep on heroic difficulty without shattering any frost tombs. So what you wanna do here is go up to her and one shot her before she can do anything. The next dungeon we'll be going to is Utgard Pinnacle and before entering I would recommend getting summoning sickness for this first achievement. First achievement in Utgard Pinnacle is the Incredible Hulk. Force Svala Softgrave to kill a Scourge Hulk on heroic difficulty in Utgard Pinnacle. So what you want to do is you want to pull one of the abominations that are found in the room and basically get it to 5%. After that you want to pull Shiva and it's really important that you pull the Hulk before you pull Shiva or else you'll bug the achievement. And once you've done that, you wanna get Shiva to uh, 50%. After that, she'll start uh, stunning you and start pulling down a sword towards you. When the sword lands, it'll deal some damage to you and it'll also deal some damage to the Hulk. If you got the Hulk to 5%, the Hulk should die and you should get the achievement immediately. If you don't get it immediately, just reset the boss and try it with the other Hulk in the room. If you fail after that, you have to wait until the next day. The next boss is Skadi the Ruthless. He has two achievements. The first one is Lardy Dardy. We love to Skadi. Defeat Skadi within 3 minutes basically. You'll get this just by killing the boss. The next achievement is My Girl Loves to Skadi all the time. Here you need to defeat Skadi the Ruthless in Utgard Pinnacle and Heroic Difficulty after having killed Graf from 100% to death in a single pass. So what you need to do here is basically pull the boss, run towards the end and kill all the ads that appear. After that a second set will appear and you also have to kill them. They'll all drop these spears on the ground. What you need to do is basically when the boss is right in front of you, you need to pick up one of those harpoons and click the harpoon, like those harpoon spears. The mount will lose about 33% for each time you click the harpoon and you need to click a new spear each time you want to throw it. So what you need to do is basically pick up three harpoon spears and shoot them all before he makes an entire run. If you do that, you should get the second achievement as well. But after you've killed the pet, you can just kill the boss and get the achievement. The next achievement is King Spain. Defeat King Ymira in Utgard Pinnacle on heroic difficulty without anyone in the party triggering Bane. So what you want to do here is basically kill the boss before he can do anything. The next achievement is Consumption Junction. Defeat Trollgar in Brackfarm Keep on heroic difficulty before Consume reaches 10 stacks. What you want to do here is one shot him before he can do anything. The next achievement is O Novas. Defeat Novas the Summoner in Dragfar Keep on heroic difficulty without allowing any undead minions to reach the floor. So what you need to do here is basically once you pull Novas, you need to go to the stairs and basically stay there and kill all the ads to spawn. So the way you actually defeat this boss is by killing the necromancers that will appear in one of the sides of the room. Basically what will happen is that they'll enter the room and then they'll run towards you towards stairs. So what you want to do is basically stay at the stairs, keep killing the ads until the necromancer reach you. Once the necromancer is reach you, you just want to kill the necromancer and it'll destroy one of the four crystals. Basically wait until the necromancer gets to you and then kill the necromancer and once you've done that four times you can kill Novas and get the achievement. The next achievement is better off that engage King Dread in Dragfarm Keep on heroic difficulty and slay six Drakari God Ripper or Drakari Skype Claw during his defeat. So what you want to do here is basically pull the big dinosaur and pull all the small dinosaur that's right beside him. What you want to do then is single target every single one of the small dinosaurs and make sure you don't accidentally cleave uh, King Dread down. Once you killed all the small ones, you can go ahead and kill the big guy and get the achievement. The next achievement is Snakes. Why it has to be Snakes? Question mark. Defeat Sladran in Gundrak on heroic difficulty without getting snake wrapped. So what you want to do here is basically one shot him before he can do anything. The next achievement is Less Rappy. Defeat Moon Rappy in Gundrak on heroic difficulty while preventing him from transformation into a mammoth at any point during the encounter. So what you want to do here is basically kill him before he does anything. The next achievement is What the Eek. Defeat Galdora in Gundrak on heroic difficulty while under the effect of Eek residue. So after killing the third boss, a little tunnel will open up behind you. Go through this tunnel until you meet the boss Eek. Once you see him, 
You want to pull him and basically wait. After a while, he'll do this breath ability on you. And after you have the breath ability, he'll, you'll get a debuff called Eco Residue. What you want to do is kill the boss after you got the debuff and make your way to the last boss. Once you're at the last boss, you want to one-shot him and then you'll get the achievement. So the next dungeon is Ashul Narub and the first achievement is Watch Him Die. Defeat Griffia, the watch gate watcher, in Azul Narub on your heroic difficulty while Watcher Gashi, Watcher Naji, and Watcher Silphic are still alive. The three watchers are trash that are there right before the boss, so what you want to do is basically go around all the trash and kill the boss. Once you kill the boss, you'll get the achievement as long as you didn't kill any of the trash on the way to the boss. The next achievement is Hadronax Denied. Defeat Hadronax in the Jilna Roop on heroic difficulty before he webs the top door and prevents more creatures from spawning. So what you want to do here is basically run your way down, like just ignore the trash and run all the way down to Hadronax and one-shot him. Once you've killed him, you should get the achievement. The next achievement is Gotta Go. Defeat Anubarak in a Jilna Roop on heroic difficulty in 4 minutes or less. So what you want to do here is basically go up to Anubarak and kill Kill him. He will duck underground and spawn the ad these ads. You just want to keep killing the ads. It'll take a few minutes for him to get up, but don't worry about it. As long as you're killing the ads, you should be able to do it in four minutes. The next achievement is respect your elders. Defeat Elder Nordax in Ankaraj on heroic difficulty without killing any Ankana guardians. So what you want to do here is basically go up to him and one shot him. The next achievement is Volunteer Work. Defeat Jeruga Shadow Seeker in Ankaraj and Heroic Difficulty without killing any Twilight Volunteer. What you want to do here is pull the boss and one shot her. The next achievement is Voljack's Quick Demise. Defeat Herald Voljack in Ankaraj on Heroic Difficulty in less than 2 minutes. What you want to do here is go up to him and one shot him. The next one we're gonna go over is the Oculus and this one it's really hard. I mean, there's a lot of achievements to get in here. And this achievement will sadly take you three days to do. So yeah, be aware of that. So the achievements we'll be going over is Experience Rider, Make It Count, Ruby Void, Emerald Void, and I think the last one's called Sapphire Void. So what you need to do here is basically enter the dungeon and make your way over to the first boss. After killing him, you will see these three NPCs you can talk to. One will give you a ruby drake, another one will give you an emerald drake, and the third one will give you an amber drake. So what you need to do is basically pick one of the three drakes. One of the achievements is that you have to kill the last boss with each drake, so just pick the one you need to do. And after that you want to make your way over to the platforms in the middle and start killing all the trash. Once you're done with that you can kill the second boss. Once you kill the second boss you want to just fly up until you can see the third boss. Make your way over there and start clearing out the trash on all four platforms. While killing the third boss you might see some issues with like him not dying. What you need to do here is basically just wait 5 minutes and eventually at some point he will die. After that you want to make your way over to the last boss who's at the top. He's a big dragon. Now a big change that came with scaling in patch 7.2 is that now all the drakes do a lot of damage compared to your item level. So if you have a high enough item level the drakes will do a ton of damage. Which shouldn't be a problem if you're level 120. So just spam your one ability at them and they'll die and he'll die really fast. So yeah, what you want to do is basically do that again for the next two days with the other drakes and then you'll get all the achievements. The next achievement is Split Personality. V Grand Mages Telestra in the Nexus on heroic difficulty after having killed her images within five seconds of the first one dying during each split. So I don't know if this achievement is sparked or whatever, but I mean you can just go ahead and one shot her and you'll get the achievement. The next achievement is Chaos Fairy, defeat Anonymous in the Nexus on heroic difficulty without destroying any chaotic rifts. This one is fairly simple as well, just go ahead and one shot him and you'll get the achievement. The next achievement is Intense Cult, defeat Keristrasa in the Nexus on heroic difficulty without allowing any Intense Cult to reach more than 2 stacks. So in order to activate her, just press all the 4 orbs around her. After that, you can just go ahead and one shot her for the achievement. The next dungeon is Halls of Stone and the next achievement is Lightning Struck. Defeat General Bangrim 
in Halls of Lightning on heroic difficulty while he has a temporary electric charge. So basically he patrols an area and eventually he'll get like this buff on him called temporal electrical charge. Once he has it, just one shot him and you'll get the achievement. The next achievement is Shattered Resistance. Defeat Vulcan in the Halls of Lightning on heroic difficulty without allowing him to shatter more than 4 brittle golems. Just go ahead and one shot him and you'll get the achievement. The next achievement is Timely Death. Defeat Loken in Halls of Lightning on heroic difficulty in less than 2 minutes. Just go up and one shot him and you'll get the achievement. The next dungeon we'll be going over is Halls of Stone and the first achievement is Good Grief. Defeat the Maiden of Grief in Halls of Stone on heroic difficulty in less than one minute. Just go up and one shot her. The next achievement is Brand Sparking New. Defeat the Tribute of Ages encounter in Halls of Stone on heroic difficulty without allowing Brand Bronzebeard to take any damage. So what you want to do here is basically talk to him and kill all the trash on the way to the boss fight. And basically make sure that you're always walking like a few yards ahead of Brand. After that he'll walk over to the machine, place yourself at the entrance to the machine and just kill any trash on the way. Now this is gonna take you about 4 minutes if you just stand they're one-shotting all the trash but I mean you'll get the achievement and one final note remember to tag talk to Bra Brand again once you're done with the boss fight to unlock the last boss the next achievement is abuse the ooze defeat soja the iron shaper in halls of stone on a heroic difficulty and kill five iron slugs during the encounter so let's start off with you going out of the instance and jumping down and killing yourself. After that you want to get rest sickness and get back in. Once you're inside you want to go talk to Brand who's at the door which is close to the entrance. After that he'll open the door and unlock the last boss. You want to unequip all your gear and just start punching the boss. You want to get him to 50% and once he reaches 50% all these blobs will start spawning out of the machine and they'll basically start making their way to the middle. Once they've made it to the middle they'll spawn one of the slugs you want to just basically swap target and kill them and once you kill five of these big oozes or slugs i should say you'll get the achievement after you kill the boss so the next dungeon is Violet Hold and the next two achievements we'll be going over is Lockdown and Dehydration. The first one is Lockdown, basically you need to kill every single boss in the instance, which means you'll have to make repeated returns in hope of killing all of them. And the second one is Dehydration, defeat Icon in the Violet Hold on heroic difficulty without allowing any Icar gobs to emerge. What you need to do is basically just go ahead and one shot him and you'll get the achievement. The next achievement is Avoid Dance. Defeat Surmat the Obliterator in Violet Hope and Heroic Difficulty without killing any voids and trees. Just go up and one shot him. The next achievement is Defenseless. Defeat Sunrigosa in Violet Hope without using defense crystals and with prism seal integrity at 100% while in heroic difficulty. So basically don't press any of the crystals, just kill all the trash that spawn and kill the last boss at the end I guess. The next achievement is zombie fest exclamation mark. Kill 100 risen zombies in one minute in the calling of Stratum on heroic difficulty. So after killing the third boss you want to basically make your way down to the long road to the last boss. Once you're there, you don't want to talk to office. Instead, what you want to do is basically pull all the trash on the way to the last boss and then one shot it all. You want to make sure you understand that you do not kill any of the zombies on the way. You just pull them, you don't attack them or hit them. Just pull them all to the end and once you're at the end, one shot them and you'll get the achievement. The next achievement is the Calling of Time. Defeat the infinite corruption on the Calling of Stratfoam on heroic difficulty. So right before you get to the last boss, you want to just take a turn in the other direction and kill the infinite drake and uh, then loot him. You also get a mount this way, so yeah, free mounts. And after you've done that, you should get the achievement. So that was the glory of the hero. It takes a few days, but it is soloable, so yeah. But in any case, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and comment if you had any issues with the, the achievements. I'll try and give an explanation if that's the case.